What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Iowa. And welcome back to another Black Iowa's Beer Review. Today on the Beer Review, we are going to be trying Public House Strawberry Flavored Cream Ale. Ooh, that just sounds good. Now, I, this is the second beer that I've had from Public House. I had the uh, Beer Leakin', which was like a Mars and Beer in Oktoberfest. And uh, so I saw this, and let me tell you a little something first about Black Owl. I, I love the fruity beers. I like the, uh, Lion Kugel has a Summer Shandy, it's like a lemonade beer, it comes out in the summertime. Ooh, 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 that is my one. I, I, I think the majority of the summer of 2020, that's pretty much all I fucking drank. <laughs> I mean, it was that damn good. And it was that and like uh, Bud Light Lime. I love that too. I love the flavored beers. There's a few of them out there that I've had randomly that are just delicious. So when I went to the liquor store today, that's kind of what I was looking for was a fruity flavored beer. And I saw a fruity flavored beer and it was Public House and I said, shit, that's two for two. So we're going to try it out. So, like I say, Public House Brewing Company out of, did, 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 turn the can, St. James, Missouri. Straight out of Missouri, baby, the show me state. 5.3 alcohol by volume, 12 fluid ounces in my can. And also, let's look at the can for a minute. It's got a bear on there, boy, and he's listening to records. Shit, that looks like me. But the thing of it is, um, I love the artwork on these cans. It's, it's not only that the beer is usually pretty good, but the artwork is awesome too. And like I say, this is, I paid, uh, I think after tax, it was around $9 for a six pack. But you know what? If it's anything like the beer leaking, it's going to be worth it. So, let's stop flapping our jaws and get to the cause. Go ahead and pop the top like Alan Jackson would. And today we are going to be pouring this in my mason jar that I have. We're not using the beer mug today. And honestly, I should have a nicer glass to put this in, but I just, I do not. So, now you know what to get old Black Owl for Christmas. If any of you are going Christmas shopping for me, find me some nice beer glasses, man. I'll send you my address. You send me a beer glass and I'll send you something cool too. Maybe some merch or maybe just a beer you haven't had. Man. Who knows? Let's, let's do some wheeling and dealing, baby. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go out and get my own glass. We are going to first take a little smell. Ooh. Ooh. That makes me feel like 112. If you know what I mean, peaches and cream. But it ain't peaches, it's strawberry, bitch. Mmm. And that's what it smells like. It smells like a strawberry pie with whipped cream on the top. With a glass of beer sitting next to it. So let's pour this motherfucker in. And let it begin. You know, that looks nothing like I thought it would. I thought we were going to get a, a more, you know, deep red color. But this is actually kind of an amber color. I want to make sure and get every last drop. More of an amber color here. Um, it's got a little red tint to it. Now that I look at it in the light. Let's get a smell. Yeah. Very fruity. A fruity bouquet, if you will. And you're getting that cream too. It's almost like a, like a strawberry with whipped cream on top. That's what it smells like. Kind of smells like apple juice too, but that may just be my muscle memory or something. So let's go ahead and take us a drink, boy. Mmm. I can't wait. Oh. Oh, 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 damn. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going right back. i talk to you in here in a second. Good Lord, that's good stuff. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like I say, man, I like the fruity ones, and that is right up my alley. If I was to create a beer... It's pretty damn close to what I would do. It, uh, 
you know, the thing about it is, when you get these fruity beers, it's really hit or miss. You're either going to get... Uh, and not either, but I mean, most of the time, it, it, you're going to either get one that is like the fruit came along and farted in the fucking beer, and it's just that little, <laughs> just that little, you know, hint, you know, it might have walked, the fruit might have walked by the beer and breathed on it one time, or you're going to get one that's so fruity that the beer's just non-existent, and it tastes like a fucking fruit drink. You don't want either of those, really. It, not if this is what you're going for. They, once again, Public House. I love you, baby. You knocked it out of the fucking park again. This is awesome. Um, you get that good strawberry sweet flavor right off the bat. And as soon as you're like, man, this is really sweet, then comes the beer. And I don't know what the base beer is that they use for this. Really good. Really, really good. You do have that hoppy bite at the end which kind of makes it, you know, carbonated and whatnot. So, 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 so good. I really enjoy this fucking beer. This is one that I would get again. And you know what? It's kind of like, it's it's crazy that I found this um, it here in Missouri. It's November, you know? But there again, we're in Missouri, and it snowed last week on a Monday, and then today is a Wednesday, the following week, it's like 70 degrees outside so it's uh you know it's second summer coming around so why not enjoy a nice summer tasting beer one more sip there just for old dad here man i'm really enjoying this i mean and we've had some other beers on the show but i am really enjoying this mm. oh man you're really getting that fruit right off the bat and when you take a big slug of it like I just did it's like getting the best of both worlds all in one it's the fruit it's the beer it's everything that you want out of a fruit flavored beer and with the cream ale it's got a great mouth feel very smooth so um, first of all we'll say a food pairing a food that I would like to have with this is like an Italian sandwich you ever get an Italian sandwich with the capicola ham, the pepperoni, and the salami? A little bit of banana pepper on there just to spice up your life. Lettuce, you know, you know an Italian sandwich. Because that's like a fresh garden sandwich, and this is like a fresh beer. Very fresh. Those two would complement each other very well. Especially with the sweet and then with the spicy of the Italian sandwich. You could go pizza too if you did it right. Don't don't be getting no, I want a pepperoni pizza. Shit, if I'm paying for pizza, I want the whole garden on my shit. Mm, mm, mm. This is awesome. So we are going to go ahead and rate this at a 9.5 out of 10, man. Very, very impressed by this. Very impressed by this. The only reason I don't want to give it a 10 is because, hell, I want to have a little dignity, don't I? I don't just want to be over here kissing its ass, but... I'm doing everything, but I love you, baby. Public House, you've done it again. And I've done it again. Which means that this is all I have to say about this beer. And so that brings us to the end of this episode of Black Iowa's Beer Review. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can watch all my past beer reviews right here on my YouTube channel. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy your beer. Enjoy your day. And I will see you next time, baby. Mm. Goodness gracious.